friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This is gonna be a one day, Sunday, fun day kind of vlog, and I'll tell you a couple things we have on tap. It's already been a chaotic morning. I got home super late last night from Bernie from Jacqueline's shower, and I drove through a crazy thunder rainstorm. Um, probably should not have drove, but I got here okay. And then this morning I tried to sleep in, but the fire alarms went off in my building again. And normally this happens all the time. Normally it lasts for like five, 10 minutes and Max gets really scared. We go out to the porch, but this time it lasted for like an hour and it, it just now went off. And I was like, okay, finally I can start the vlog. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish getting ready for the day. A few errands I want to run and also something kind of fun. I don't know if you can see that big package back there. My last landlord from California reached out and was like, hey, I have a handful of packages from you that just like showed up to the house. Can I send them to you? So that is a box full of boxes. Don't know how many are in there or what is in there, but figured we could do a little old fashioned meal time. I haven't done one of those in a long time on this channel. So that's the plan. I'm going to fix my rained on hair. I was hoping to get another couple days out of it and get dressed and let's get our Sunday started. Okay, so I opened the box from my old landlord and I also hadn't checked my package room here at this apartment in a four, four, four or five days because of the bachelorette and everything. So we have these packages and a couple more. Some of these things I bought myself. Some of these my landlord sent me from LA and we have a couple subscription boxes too, which that's fun. Should be just like, like 20, 21 Mikkel go through these open these I like have a weird connotation with unboxing things now because that was what I heavily relied on on my channel when I just didn't want to share personal stuff because my life kind of sucked and I just didn't want to talk about it which is why I have done no unboxings since moving to Austin because I'm like finally sharing my life if that makes sense so this might be a good challenge for me to kind of get over that connotation and open some things. This will be good for me because it's been a long time since we've sat down and opened mail in this capacity. So um, let's get into it. Maybe we'll start with the few things I bought myself and then we'll get into the things from the landlord. I don't know, ready, set, go, let's go. This, I'm hopeful, I know what it is. It is a case for my new computer. This is my second attempt at getting the correct size case, but this is from a band called Burga. B-U-R-G-A, the pricing wasn't bad. It wasn't as cheap as the Amazon one I tried to buy, but it looks very similar. Oh no. It's actually so much worse than the cheapo Amazon one because it's printed. It's like a printed snake skin where the one I got from Amazon that was super cheap was like textured. Oh well, at least it will protect my laptop. That's all that matters, right? Am I gonna end up trying a third laptop case? Does anybody have any good laptop case brands that are like nice without being $100? I would love to know. I placed a uh, Skims order. The primary reason was I needed this for my sister's wedding for my bridesmaid's dress because it's a slip dress and slip dresses are beautiful but are the absolute least flattering thing on my body type. <laughs> I'll be interested to see how these work. These are like the compression little biker shorts. These are 
tiny. My leg's supposed to fit in that? Why does this look like a raw chicken to me? <laughs> we'll see how that fits, but I'll show you the other Skims things I got. I've decided in my hunt for cotton underwear, this is just the best I can do. And I ended up sizing down to an extra small and I like them a lot better. So then I got a few more of these in an extra small. Let's see which colors I got. Blue, oh, black. And then that little bike set lounge set that I have. I, I like it a lot. So I ended up getting it also in black. So it's like the ribbed kind of like boxer style biker shorts with the matching little triangle bralette. Great for lounging around the house, good for sleeping, all that. So that, that's my, that's my Skims purchase. This might not be that interesting to you, but I have been on the Latisse train and once they get you, once they rope you in, you are stuck. So I ran out of Latisse and within like a week, within a week, your eyelashes start getting like not uniform and then you realize you need to rebuy it. So I get mine from Apostrophe just cause they, you just do it online. But I think that there's probably cheaper places you could do it. So there's my newest prescription of Latisse. If you don't know what that is, it's like an eyelash serum that makes your lashes grow and it does really work. I don't know how, you have to get a prescription for it, but you can do it online three places. That's exciting. And one more thing that I ordered myself because I was curious and I just want to see if this is quality or not. Have you heard of the brand Cider? They are probably considered fast fashion, so that's probably not great, but super duper affordable clothing. And like a lot of things looked really cute and I struggle finding shorts. So I got a couple short options just to test them. Maybe we can do a little try on haul later. Mm. And it'll be really interesting to see if these are noticeably cheap or not, because let me see if I can find what I spent. Should I pull up the prices for this? Yeah. Okay. I pulled up my email receipt. These were $30 and they looked really modest and cute. And I liked the like army green, the cool little pocket detail. Maybe we'll try these on later tonight. This is so not my style. <laughs> I don't know why I got it, but I was kind of curious to try one of the tops. This is a tank. How does it go? Wait a minute. This was $14. Like this maybe? I, I just really needed tanks. This is very, could be fun to mix it up. I don't know. It, this one does feel cheap. The shorts feel good. Shorts feel good. We'll try it on. Then I got some paper bag shorts. I thought these looked kind of Nancy Drew, but these are looking shorter in real life than they looked online. Maybe they rolled. Oh, they do. No, they don't. They don't roll down. These were $24. We'll see how much of this I end up returning. And then I got one wild card because it was kind of fun. This was $30. It's a little jumpsuit with like embroidered flowers on it. This kind of feels cheap too, but it's fun. It's different. I think the green shorts have the most potential. We'll see if we get around to trying those on later. Now onto the things from the landlord. We have two subscription boxes. We'll do those last. And this looks like it's from Equilibria. <gasps> my favorite. Look, I actually literally have right behind the camera, my daily drops. I still take these every day. This vlog's not sponsored, but um, I think I still have a very good valid promo code or link. I'll find it. I'll link it down below if I do. But let's see what we got. Ooh. Okay, branding. Okay, packaging. <gasps> What? What is this? Oh my gosh, first, this is probably just PR that they don't sell, but I, this is exactly like the water bottle I was using today. I love these water bottles with the little wooden top. That's so sweet. Drink drops, that's why there's a water bottle. Sunrise Citrus 100 milligram premium CBD. I did not know they were making these. <gasps> Recovery roll on with premium CBD and menthol. So it looks like it might be a roller ball. Yeah, you, oh, here's a picture. It's like a roller ball for um, muscle recovery, pain relief, all that stuff. Aw, bath salts, mindful mineral soap. That's such a sweet little PR gift. Thanks Equilibria. I don't know how long ago you might've sent that to the California address, but thank you. <laughs> This was my best friend Kaylisa's favorite of all the subscription boxes I used to unbox because they have like very good makeup inside of it. I think they're British based cohorted. Oh, first, Minnie loves six miniature masks to go. What? 
vitamin nectar, sugar face polish, black tea instant perfecting mask, um, rose face mask, clay purifying mask, and then black tea firming overnight mask. I had a roommate once who was in love with fresh and would go like every week to it's so cute sorry i'm getting so distracted it has six of these little minis inside then we have the soy face cleanser i know that that is a popular face cleanser we have the deep hydration facial toner wow there's a lot of something in there and last but not least the rose deep hydration face cream wow i know that fresh is not the cheapest brand so that is awesome that they have a whole themed box for them. And then let's see what's in this glossy box. This was May. Oh, wait. I'm filming this in May. Cool. Look at that. Perfectly imperfect. Wow. Look at that branding. There's a mirror on the inside. Like you can see yourself. <laughs> Here's my camera set up. It says you're beautiful. Let's see what is in this box for May. This really is kind of jarring for me. I have not opened a subscription box since my divorce, have I? It's taken me back in some good ways and in some not great ways. We have a daily body scrubber. That's cool. I had a TikTok once upon a time where we had the conversation about loofah people versus not loofah people. And there's two people in the world and we tried to figure out if it's genetic. Like if you're raised by a loofah household, if you become like a loofah house, I was not, I just use my hands Sometimes I'm exfoliating scrub. I've never used any sort of like loofah scrubber thing in the shower. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cleanser. Okay, they're coming through with the brands in these boxes. A miniature dry shampoo. This was on my list to get at Target for travel. Not this brand, I've never heard of this brand. Maria Nila, but it's very cute. I wonder, I don't wanna know if it smells good. We're just gonna dry shampoo these little things. It kind of smells like grapes. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Mmm. I actually kind of like it. Aceology Rose Petal Mask. Wow, I have all the masks I could ever need between these two subscription boxes. Oh, brow gel. I always need a good brow gel. That is something I would actually use. That is awesome. Wow, okay. That's it. How do we feel? How do you feel? I don't know how I feel, honestly. I really don't know how I feel, but I will try to link as many of these things as I can down below for you. For sure have a discount code for Equilibria. The rest, I don't think I do. Um, should we try on those couple cider things before we leave? I wanted to go before coffee time, maybe maybe try to find a new coffee shop, um, hang out with y'all, get out of the house once today. But maybe we can try them on real quick. Okay, little try on haul. I actually do really like these shorts, the concept, but I got a small, and they're just very, they're not my size. I might return them and size down one more because if these fit, I actually like the length and they're pretty comfortable. They're fun, they're different. It actually looks pretty good with this top, but they, I just wouldn't wear them at this size. I wonder what the return policy is. Okay, these shorts are also small. These fit me way better. The material looks like it's gonna be a little bit high maintenance, like a little bit wrinkly and they're a little short, but I actually really like it with this shirt also. These might be, these might be a keep. They don't feel great. I like, I don't think I would recommend the quality of any of these pieces. Slash, I, I really don't know much about this brand. It was just a swipe up on an Instagram ad for me. Um, but these have potential. What do we think? They fit, which is awesome. Okay, this tank. Have you ever thought you'd see me in a tank like this? I have mixed feelings. I mean, it's fun. It's different. Um, it, ah. um, the material, it's comfy. It feels cheap. This, this feels cheap. It is cheap. I mean, you have what you pay for. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? <laughs> this is a no. This is a, this is a definite no. This is also a small and it's so small here. Like this is, the sizing, there's no consistency at all. Um, and the color is a lot brighter than it looked online. Concept was fun. I loved the fact that it was real embroidery. I was impressed by that, but this is, this is a no. I need to figure out the return policy. Another investigative journey. I've kind of been going on more investigative journeys on Instagram ads just because I'm curious of like, is that really that cheap? Like what is, what is the quality like? You know, so this would be cute if this was a dress and not as bright, don't you think? There's potential there. 
y'all want to hear something really sweet and nice someone very very kind and sweet and nice might have just treated me to lunch and so i thought it could be really fun to take you guys on a little adventure with that very sweet treat to go find something healthy to eat i i've forgotten to eat so far today and it's 12 30 and there's a staple place in Austin called Juice Land. Everybody loves it, and it's so funny because like from their branding, I would never guess that it was great, you know? It's like bright colors, and it's, it's very Austin, but it is actually fantastic, and I've only been once, and there is a location that is extra kind of quirky fun um, on the east side. Would love to check it out. I'm thinking maybe get a smoothie and maybe also like a little greens bowl, get all the fruits and veg and healthy things into my life and into my diet so do y'all want to go on a little lunchtime adventure with me i would invite you but i don't think that dogs are allowed i don't know actually it's austin dogs probably are allowed but i'm gonna leave you here is that okay is that good okay let's go Fun. Let's do a taste test. I'll show you what I got. This is the blue mint chip. Let me read you what's in it. Okay, hemp milk, banana, vegan collagen builder, pecan normally, but I didn't know pecan because I'm technically allergic to pecan. And Texans put pecans in everything. I think it's because we have so many pecan trees or everywhere. Um, vanilla, blue magic, which is technically an algae, which is what makes this so blue. Chocolate chip and mint. And then I added hemp protein as well. So that was my smoothie. And then I got this double rainbow quinoa salad it has vegan cucumber tzatziki apricots pistachios quinoa bell pepper cashew mint olive oil all vegan which is cool plant-based let's try this oh, that's really good that's it's like it's like a milkshake that's really good i'm also very illegally parked I'm gonna go find another spot to park. There's a little car chat that I wanna have with y'all. But smoothie edition, that's fun. <laughs> I feel like probably the most common theme that comes up in my videos over the last year or so has just been me trying to break down all of my people pleasing thoughts because that is where I've gotten the most trouble. Obviously it's super important to be respectful of other people around you and mindful, but when it doesn't affect other people around you, it is so silly to worry about what they think. And I've noticed a few kind of recurring thought patterns in myself lately where I'm like really excited about something and really want something and really want to pursue something. But my only hesitancy is I will catch myself not, or like kind of trying to talk myself out of things simply only because I'm worried what people will say or think or how they will perceive me and my choices. And I just want to call myself out on that behavior and in that thought pattern to stop it and assess why I'm hesitant about some things in my life. And if the only reason, if the only reason I'm hesitant is literally just because I'm worried about what people will think or what they will say, then I am going to throw that out the window and pursue whatever it is full-heartedly. And that's just a challenge that I want to implement into my own thought patterns because I've seen it come up in just multiple different scenarios for me lately, whether it's like how I'm dressed, um, what I'm wearing, pursuing dating again after divorce, all these, all these different things that I will kind of get in my head about it. And literally the only reason is like, what will people think of me if I dress the way I want to, or if I date too soon, or like all these things that literally affects nobody else. I'm starting a challenge now for me. I'm inviting you to be a part of it if you'd like, if you if you see any of these similar patterns or thoughts in your own life. If we catch ourselves doing that, and that is the only hesitancy we have, let's just pursue whatever we want full-heartedly. Let's just throw it out the window and say, this is a rule I've made for myself. If the only reason I'm hesitant is because I'm worried about what people will say or think, then, then I'm gonna go pedal to the metal and just do it. I've been really thankful for the comments I've been saying of people being like, you just feel like you're yourself. Like finally, you feel unhindered. You feel like you're just existing and, and being and not thinking through things so hard. Um, and that is what I want to cultivate. And it means so much to hear that and read that. And I'm still very much in my head about a lot of things, but I have felt growth in that area. And I just want to be so intentional about continuing growth in that area. So I want to present that challenge for you guys as well, if you'd like. It feels good. It feels good. It feels so good. Okay. Thank you for getting out of the house with me. Let's go home. Unfortunately, something on my to-do list today is <laughs> throw out 
all of my discount flowers. I got every single last day out of these. They look so sad now. But first, guess what I'm gonna do? Mexi? Go go potty? Go go potty? You wanna go on a walk? You wanna take a walk? Does that sound fun? You wanna do that? Is that something so much fun? I just ate a lot of quinoa. <laughs> Maybe we can walk to a coffee. What's that, how's that sound? Does that sound good? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Coffee, check. I have a little bit of a computer work to-do list that I'm gonna just whip out real quick. I have one campaign to film for Instagram. I'm also gonna whip it out real quick. Oh wait, you should see how the case looks on my computer. The fake printed on, not textured case. Be right back. <laughs> well, if it fits, it'll be more of a win than the Amazon. Oh. Oh, it does fit. <sighs> Until someone comments a really good spot for me to buy a uh, updated version of this, this'll do. <laughs> okay. As the perfect ending to a really good day, I just made myself a whole plate of tater tots. Mm. As you could probably hear, I have wash and dryer going and um, I'm gonna crank out a little more work, get myself all set up for Monday go to bed early and start a whole new vlog tomorrow. I never do one day vlogs. I don't know why my brain just always works in two day vlogs. So I hope this is fun. I feel like we don't go out and do as much in a single day because I'm used to having like two days of fun things in, in a single vlog, but mail time was fun. It was, it was reminiscent. It was fun. And like I said, the next like four days in a row, I'm gonna be vlogging more and hanging out with y'all. So lots of fun things to come. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?